Hey guys, in this video I want to show how you can make a hammered metal material like this from scratch. Before doing anything I just want to mention that I'm using a environment which has a high contrast, this 2 panel 2K, uh, and it helps to, uh, to read the metal surface because when you're working with metals and reflective surfaces, the uh, lighting environment affects the uh, appearance a lot on the material. So make sure to uh, to use one with a high contrast. All right. To start, I double click this uh, material and go into the material graph. Shift windows around. So we have a nice setup like this. Okay, oops. First step is to change the material type to metal, like this. All right, so now we have a chrome material. And from here, I actually want just to start adding in the bump maps. And to do that, I am using the texture, the procedural texture called cellular, 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 something with cells. And I take it up the output and drag it into uh, the bump note input. And we get something like this almost looked like crumbled tinfoil. Not what we are after here. So scale looks quite okay. Bump height looks fine as well. Maybe want it a bit less. Uh, but what we need to do to make it more soft looking is to adjust these three shape sliders. So let's just start adjusting stuff. And this is a matter of try, try what happens if we go this way, what happens if we go that way, this way is closest to what we are looking for. And definitely this way as well. Maybe what happens if we bump it up to two? Too much. One. What happens if you back this down? Not so good. Maybe two as well. J1. Maybe even higher, like four. Mm, let's have a look at the uh, the color information and see. Oh yeah, we want the contrast to be less, so we turn that down. Uh, maybe. Let's see what we can do to make it look softer. Yeah, this is uh, this is quite okay. I want to back the scale up a bit and adjust the bump height as well. So like this. So obviously you could spend way more time to. Uh, getting the exact look that you're after, but for this tutorial, I think this is fine. So let's move on. Next step is to make uh, the center of the dent darker than the edges. And to do so, I duplicate this note, drag it up here and add it into the color information. And to make sure not to do any changes on this note, I unsync this one. All right. So I will go back to my real time view and press M on the keyboard to open up the library tab and go into my colors. And uh, here on the metals, we have a few different diffuse colors for different types of metal. And let's make a gold one for, for this one. So I drag the gold 24K into both of these, color one and color two. Close this down and let's have a look at the color information. So we want the uh, dents to be darker than the edges. And uh, let's just change this to another color. And we can see that color one is the one that needs to be darker. So open that one up and drag it down to make it darker. I think this is good. Don't want it to be too obvious. All right. Press C on your keyboard to uh, get back to the material view. And I think this looks quite okay. 
maybe a bit dark actually something like this all right next step is to uh, add some roughness mapping to the material and again i'm going to duplicate this node and uh, simply drag it to this plus sign and pick roughness what we want here is to uh, have the uh, dents rougher and the edges of the dents less rough and to do so we need the dents to be brighter and yeah the edges to be darker so this will do let's check it uh yeah should be fine maybe i want the i don't want it to be that rough so uh i'll back that down a bit make it a bit darker until something like this and i don't want it to be completely shiny so i'll move this one up slightly and i think this looks great so what i like to do to add more realism to my materials is to add some kind of bitmap texture on top of these uh, procedural textures and for this material uh, I just open up my library tab by hitting M on the keyboard. I have one called Dusty Painted Metal. And I don't know if it ships with Keyshot or if it's someone I found on the internet, but you can use any kind of uh, bitmap. Try out different stuff. You might, you, sometimes you, you'll be surprised what works and, and what does not. But first of all, we want to use it as a bump map. And to add more than one bump map, we need to add a utility node called bump add. So add that into the bump. And add these two maps to bump one and bump two now. So uh, actually before um, connecting this texture map, let's have a look at the color information and adjust the scaling to, uh, to where we can see some of the, the details that we want to, to show think this is looking good so add it into the bump and um, maybe disable this in the beginning to uh, better view this uh, this new map and it looks quite nice i just want it to be a bit smaller in the scale i think this is good and then maybe back the bump height down to 0.5 This is where I usually use the region 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 render to uh, just focus on a smaller part of the material so it rests up a bit quicker. Actually, I might want it to be a bit more visible. Yeah, point seven. Let's stick with that and then enable this dent bump map again. Next step would be to add this map into the roughness as well. So right click and duplicate it. And um, to blend these two maps together, we need a color composite node. Take the output of that and put it into the roughness. And then I take the cellular map and put it into the source and this new texture into the background. So no difference. Okay, what is happening? So here in the color composite node, to uh, blend the two materials together, we need to change the blend mode to something else. And, um, but this one, I want to use lighten. And actually before doing that, I need to invert this map. And I just want to unsync it so we don't make any changes accidentally to this down, one down here. Um, I want to invert the colors because Right now, what is black, I actually want to be white and vice versa to get the roughness that I'm looking for. So I'm going to add in a color in word node and just connect it straight through like this. 
So if we look at the color composite now, here in this uh, with this light and blend mode, we can see that by by sliding down this background alpha, we can get both maps to show through. Uh, and let's see how it affects the material. And again, I turn on this view so it rises up a bit faster. It's by the way, Command Shift R for the shortcut. Um, and it looks way too rough. And I actually think that it's it's because that our uh, our bitmap is way too bright or white, so we want to make it way darker. So by dragging up the brightness like this, I think we get something way better. You can see it already, so let's try to leave it here and let's go back in here and adjust this background alpha. Mm. Maybe take the brightness a bit down again so we get some more details to show through. Yeah, this looks promising. So let's turn that back off. And I think we are done. Hey, Command Shift R to get back to the full view again. And uh, let's have a look. I think it's good. So. You can always go in and tweak whatever you want to. Maybe the color is a bit too uh, too obvious, the difference. So make that a bit brighter. This one might be, uh, you might want to uh, to have the bump height a bit, bit higher in this one. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something from it. And uh, if you want to see more like this, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. We'll keep in touch.